Hi, welcome back. I'm here with Seth Johnson, a junior in the Phi Kappa Psi, uh, Psi fraternity, and uh, he's here to talk about an incredible event this Monday. Now, unfortunately, this past July, one of his fellow fraternity members, Taylor Jansen, suffered a horrible accident. Um, Seth, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. So I guess just to start things off, you know, what exactly happened to this past July to Taylor? Yeah, so Taylor Jansen, a uh, kid in my push class and yeah. a junior here in the Ross School of Business. Um, on July 18th, he suffered a pretty traumatic uh, neck injury. He was playing volleyball with some high school friends at a Lake Sherwood in Commerce, which is his hometown. Um, he dove after a ball into the water and ended up breaking his neck at the C5 vertebrae. Um, usually what happens with that is full paralysis from the chest down. Um, so he actually, today's a big day, he just got released from the hospital. It's been three months. He's been in intensive rehabilitation here at U of M Hospital. It's been amazing and he's shown serious strength. Um, what, what, has been, what has the support been like from his friends like, after, after that? Yeah, yeah. So initially after it happened, um, we were all pretty in shock, but we started to come up with ways that we could support him and support his family through this process. Um, the biggest thing we did was to start a GoFundMe campaign, which was quite successful. Through the use of social media and other outreach programs, we collected over $150,000 in less than a month, um, which has been just amazing. And besides that, there's been multiple charities who have supported him, decorating his hospital room, donating a ramp at his house, things like that. And now you were we were talking earlier, and you said to me how this is really just the beginning. You know, this is going to be a lifelong struggle, unfortunately. So, what can the Michigan community do to kind of help support Taylor at, at this very moment? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. So, you know, the support so far has been great, um, but really, this is an injury that he's going to be dealing with for the rest of his life. Um, he's full, fully paralyzed from the chest down, as I said. Uh, he has arm movement, but nothing really in his fingers, and this is going to be something that he's going to need serious rehabilitation um, for the rest of his life. So, you know, we want to make sure that the Michigan community can continue to support him, and that's why we came up with this event that we're having on Monday night at 7 p.m. in the Diag, um, put on by the Phi Psi fraternity as well as Redeemer Church, which is a new church here in Ann Arbor, um, just to sort of bring the community together and inspire him, uh, pray for him, and just keep it, keep him in our thoughts and prayers. Mm -hmm. I know you said Taylor's doing better, which is great to hear. Has he has his response? I mean, have, has he has he been able, is he able to communicate his response to you guys? Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's he's been blown away by the support so far, and and really he's quite an inspirational kid. Um, just the other day, uh, I was asking him. You know, I was in the hospital with him alone. I was asking him. You know, what's your plan? Like, w what do you want? You know, what do you want to do in life? Um, and Taylor's a smart kid. He's in the Ross School of Business. He's, he's very good at accounting, and that's always been his thing. Um, and he was very clear. He says, I want to go back to school. I want to work really hard. I want to become a CFO, make a lot of money, and pay my dad back for all he's done for me through this process so far. So absolutely amazing kid. And I think the, the, the support from this has been tremendous. I mean, have, have, how have you noticed even yourself has changed, I mean, during this process? I guess have you are you really surprised by any of the results or are you personally or with your friends? Yeah, well, personally and with my friends, I think that it, it really just put everything in perspective for us. And as I said, um, the kid has just th shown amazing strength. He's always positive. He's never down on himself. He's never feeling um, like this is going to hold him back from doing anything in life. He was just talking about the other day he wants to go skydiving because apparently now they have assisted skydiving. that They can make that happen. So. It just goes to show that, you know, it's not going to stop him. He's going to live his life, but we need to be there to support him as a Michigan community. You know, and he's lucky to have a friend like you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So if you want to go on this event, we'll put more information online. This event is this Monday at 7 o'clock in the Diag, and um, all of our thoughts and prayers are with you. So thank you for coming on. Thank you. And we'll take a quick commercial break, but stick around.